For years, my family's been coming to Maine, and my wife loves the place, and it's inspired a lot of her alcohol inks art. And now that she's retired and doing her art full time, we're looking for more inspirations. And so we're creating this series to share that search and just to share the things we love about Maine while we go look for more things to love. So hi, welcome. We're out here on our boat. We like to go out and drift. Sometimes we have drift lunches. Kind of a cocktail fit cruise for Lori right now. And in today's episode, we're gonna show you some places we visited in Hollowell, our favorite, some of our favorite places, and a new surprise. The surprise was Michael Paul Gallery, amazing artist with beautiful art. I hope you enjoy it. Hollowell is a small town just south of Augusta, nestled on the banks of the Kennebec River. Whenever we go there, we like to go to the Liberal Cup. It's a pub with just a great atmosphere and a great selection of beer, which they brew themselves. Though there are plenty of places to sit in two rooms. Lori and I prefer to sit at the bar. Yes, we are bar people. And we like to have beer cheese soup and maybe a sandwich. I recently got to sit down with the owner and hear a little bit of the history of the pub. So Jeff, you're the owner of the place. And you started when? In 2000. 2000? Yeah, it makes for easy math. What was here before? This is an abandoned building. The whole building was abandoned. Yeah. Yeah. Gutted it all and started from scratch, essentially. Great. So so did you brew originally? Yeah. All right. So you're the original brewmaster. I am. I'm sort of a brewmaster by trade. All right. The beer cheese soup. Tell me about that. Okay, sure. I mean, I have a cup of, a cup of day myself, so just for research purposes, but I also love it. Um, and it has become one of our signature dishes, really. People, people look for it. We change the beers and the cheeses every day. How'd you start that? Well, that actually came out of uh, just being invited to a, a dinner, a potluck dinner years ago before I even opened this place. And I was a bachelor at the time, and I didn't have anything in my refrigerator but beer and cheese. <laughs> so, there we go. So I, I just put them together uh, with a little flour and uh, took it over, and everyone loved it right then and there. So I said, well, this is this might be something. And That's what keeps us coming back. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you know, put, it, put it in the hands of a, a trained cook, it, it, it becomes a really, really nice dish. You might have noticed Kev and the brewmaster working in the background. I went back and checked up on what he's doing. So this is the first batch of hops here. Just that much? Yep, this is like a concentrated hot oil. Wow. So, Kevin, what's your favorite beer that you've made? I like the Alewife Ale, so. Yeah? Balanced. It's a good showcase of uh, English flavors in a beer. Yeah. The, would it disappoint you if I said I was partial to the Bug Lager? No, that's our <laughs> most popular. So. I think it's our. Uh, uh, Gateway beer, if you will, from yeah. American beers to craft beers. Cool. Leaving Kevin to his work, we head south past a beautiful florist and a bunch of interesting shops. You know you're in Maine when. Up towards the other end of the street, there's Slate's Bakery and Restaurant, a nice little ice cream stand, but just down from it, we step through an open door and we're surprised to find a local artist at work. My name is Michael Paul, and um, I'm originally from Maine, I'm from up north, Caribou, and I've been down, I was in Portland for about 30 years, yeah. and uh, just took a passion to painting about 12, 13 years ago, and I was about 50. This is something that I just started a couple days ago, it's the Portland Headlight in Cape Elizabeth, yeah. very well known with a lot of uh, tourists and um, you know people in the area, Mainers as well, and I just decided I wanted to attempt it. My sister lived up here in Hollowell, and I kept coming up to visit, and I just fell right in love with the place. I have had the place, it'll be two years coming November. That's, it's, that picture was taken on Corner of Stroudwater and Conger Street in Portland. Okay. And I've almost like wanted to knock on the people's door just to ask, hey, I painted your house. This is my partner, John. So hey, John, how you doing? So this is a new one that we're just I'm working right. on. And then this is another one. That's going to be in a frame. Um, we're going to have it framed. Hopefully today they're supposed to be coming in. My whole vision was to have a studio where I live. 
and we were fortunate to have this building. So I come down in the morning and my vision was to have people come in, sit, relax, maybe have a cup of coffee, come in with a donut if they want from Slates or, or whatever. And I'm making friends. I've only been open for about two weeks, um, slow opening. But as you can see, I want people to sit, relax, and maybe say, oh, that painting would look great by the fireplace or, mm -hmm. or whatnot. And then um, my stuff is realism. So it's mostly things that you, you'll see around Portland. There's Hinkley Bridge in South Portland and whatnot. And then my aunt does these. And she does the acrylic pours, which are great. And her husband, Uncle Dan, does all of her um, frames. He makes all the frames for her. Yeah. And, and I mean, seriously, for art, this is extremely reasonable. Very reasonable. Our business plan is going to be maybe towards the fall is to have some local artists come in, yeah. paint with me, which I think is a great draw. People come in, you yeah. know, they, they see you in the window painting and they love that. So I was supposed to do it this like three or four days a week, but now it's like I get up every morning and I come down and do it. I'm just inspired. So great. when is your grand opening going to the be? Grand opening is July 15th on a Friday night coming up the night before Hollowell days and a lot of people that just want to come in because they've seen that we've been working for two years, it's been scaffolding up front, and, and they're like, what's going in there? We think that people are going to be very pleased with what's going in here. The atmosphere is great. The art is as wonderful as the artist, and he is going to be a gas to hang out with. And the art is reasonably priced. Down the street, there's another gem the main local market in Riverbrook. We have watermarks on the building showing where the water has gotten over the years. And apparently 1987 was almost as bad as 1936. So my partner and I opened Main Local Market in the River Room last year after um, a year or so of cancer treatment. We're here on the Kennebec in Hollowell, Maine. We are super excited. This river is so clean. I grew up in Gardner when my mom would say, don't let me catch you near that river. And now it's just sturgeon and eagles and ospreys. It's amazing. It's just magical. And what can I buy and eat and drink down here from you? You can buy farm fresh food and beverage. We specialize in Maine microbrews. We uh, work with a handful of farmers where we know that our meats and our proteins are hormone safe, no antibiotics, and specifically as well, safe humane treatment for the animals. So the Kennebec, there used to be log drives down the Kennebec and um, these boom islands were, these islands out here were placed to, um, to to make sure that the logs didn't get caught up on the side over there. So they stayed in the channel on this side. And uh, and so there are those islands. They're called what? Boom Islands, because it went kaboom. Oh. I actually don't know if that's true. I just, it's, it, it makes But it's sense. for the log. I was told yeah. as a kid it was for ice, but nope. I live and Logging. learn. Logging. And Kennebec used to have blue ice. It was pretty amazing. Just up the street past the Cory Tap Room, which we will get to in another episode, is the Harlow Gallery that just opened an exhibit by Aaron Seegers. We know that we have a main spread when we have lupin and whoopie pies. We're going to visit Aaron in a future episode. You can see her exhibit at the Harlow Gallery until July 23rd, and they're open Thursday to Sunday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. We're going to end our visit to Hollowell at our favorite craft cocktail bar, The Main House. Talk to one of the nicest people you'll meet in Hollowell, the owner and bartender, Leah. So, hey, lovely Leah, because that is your name. How long have you had this place? Um, six and a half years. Six and a half? Yeah. Great. And you, how would you describe it? Craft cocktails? Yeah, or? It's, it's, a, it's a cock, yeah, craft cock, we're craft cocktail forward, I would say. But um, All right. yeah, we do live music and, you know, we have art every month. Actually, I'm waiting for art to go up. But um, yeah, it's definitely a creative space, yeah. you know. I'm getting a hipster electric zipper. Wow. Yeah. All right, so you just put egg white in yep, there. Yep, I added egg white, and now I'm adding um, this gin. It's a pink gin, and it's yeah. um, gin lane. Cool. Victoria. 
Yeah, I believe there's a lot of that. So when there's egg white, you shake it a lot. <laughs> so, and I will garnish it too, so it's not done yet. But. And you do a lot of floral stuff, right? With yeah, I, well, I try to go in different directions. Dessert roots are really popular. Um, you know, I just look at, I think about the amount of spirits that I have yeah. on the menu, and then I go from there. So, lemon. I'm doing this backwards, pardon me. <laughs> and so this part is um, the really fun part with it. It's a, called a buzz button. It's a spilanthi. Spilanthi. Um, but back in the day, they would use that. It was before like Origel and stuff. So lemon flavors, cranberry, mess, like it spikes it. It's wild. If you if you like horseradish, it's going to make your mouth go ballistic. Oh. There was a woman that tried it and she, <laughs> once it started kicking in, she was like, ooh, <laughs> you know, it's it's wild what it does. But yeah, I hope you like it because that one's yeah. really fun. <laughs> Thank you. Delicious. Good. Sunday River Maine Brewing, Jamaican Stout. Yep, so I uh, muddle, uh, muddle fresh basil and strawberry with simple syrup and fresh lemon. Um, muddle that and then I add ice and cold river vodka. And I miss it. What is the name of this the one? The cold strawberry basil. The cold strawberry. It's so good. Well, I'm sure it's good. You wouldn't order it. And... That's one of my favorite presentation wise. You know, it, it doesn't have a bad smile. It's no. So pretty. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Proof is in the pudding. There we go. Leah. The Ribbon candy. Tell me about that, that drink. So, um, that drink, I it was on my first menu, and when I was coming up with my first full cocktail menu, I was trying to think of things that I enjoy, and also people in my life, and flavors that go along with different things, and so my dad has always loved Absolute Ribbon, and so he would always call it Ribbon Candy. And I really love, you know, I was trying to think of, you know, that name just kept playing in. I loved it, and there is this blood orange puree that I love working with, and my girls and I always loved blood orange mimosas. So I did a little research, and I was looking up how I could marry the two of them together, and um, that's how it came to be. I did a little brown sugar syrup um, that I would make, so a brown sugar simple with absolute ribbon and a little bit of orange juice and blood orange puree, and it ended up being this you know nice little marriage between what my dad enjoys and you know what my girls and I enjoy. <laughs> well, and I had that, and I took that home, and I made it for Christmas with my <laughs> son-in-law. And we call it Man Moses, but it is part of our family I too. I love that. So it's great. I wonder if my dad's actually tried one now that I, we're talking about it. I'm wondering if he ever was that adventurous to where he tried it. He's pretty stuck in his beer, pretty stuck in his beer ways, but I'll have to see it. If he hasn't, I'll have to make one because I love that. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed that episode. We really love Hollowell, and we're going to definitely come back and see more stuff we didn't get to the Quarry Tap Room. And there's a whole bunch of great shops that we have still to show you. So there will be another Hollowell episode coming. But next week, Pemaquid. Pemaquid. I love Pemaquid. And we think we really got some good inspirations for Lori, which is what the whole series is about. Yeah. So we hope you will join us for that episode as well. Here's a preview of our next episode where we go to beautiful Pemaquid Point. Visit a historic in its own right gift shop and restaurant enjoy the sights, get a little bit of inspiration, then we head up to the Pemaquid Craft Loft to see a lot of interesting arts and crafts, we met this artist, and we also saw some very creepy pottery, not to mention the world's best pizza cutter. So join us in our next episode for our trip to the ocean, and for now, enjoy the dogs as we roll the credits.